Right then, I'm going to put the uh, Orchard A3 here on uh, Hive 1. Um, if you remember from last time, uh, I was going to give it one more week to see whether the Queen had mated successfully. So, let's get into it. I'd like to say a quick thank you to all the guys that have subscribed recently. Very much appreciated. And the comments that have been made. Right, let's see. I imagine if they are queenless, they might be as grumpy as grumpy could be. They're in the super, by the looks of it. Work in the super, middle frames anyway, but we jump straight down to the brood and come in the super after. Saying that, there's not a lot of weight to this, to be fair. It's not a huge amount of bees in there, unless they're all up in the super. They're not sounding happy, let's put it that way. They're not busy foraging, it's nice weather. Just gonna make sure my wrists are covered. I believe it or not, I don't like being stung. It hurts. It happens, but it hurts. Right then, that frame's not even been touched. Yeah, they're already going for my hive tool, so they are not in a good mood. The joy. No, I got, don't look like it. So what I've got a couple of options here is I can, as someone mentioned in the comments, I could put a frame of eggs in here from another colony and that will then prove whether I got a queen or not because they were either make some queen cells with it, uh, emergency queen cells, or they will just carry on and um, lay, uh, uh, cap them over and treat them as normal workers. If they do that, that means they've got a queen. If they don't and they make queen cells, obviously they haven't got a queen. But looks like we have eggs in here. I can see eggs. So, we might just have generally some grumpy bees, but there's definitely some eggs in that frame. The next, uh, yeah, there's definitely eggs in here as well. So the next thing to do is see whether those eggs, whether she has mated, and they turn it into worker brood, or whether she hasn't mated, and they turn into drone brood. So, good, I'm just seeing if I can see her, to be honest. Can't blame the queen for their temperament because she hasn't produced any workers yet. They were already in here. Thing is, there's a lot of bees in the box because I'm still in the. Uh, it's not quite midday yet, so I'm trying to get in, get some jobs done early. Busy day. So really, if I'd come in this afternoon, 
I mean, less bees in the box, so I've probably got to see it. Anyway, there's eggs in there. So, I will close this back up. Put it down as a success, potentially. Again, we'll see, see next week what the, uh, if we've got any, how they're capping them off, whether they're capping them off as workers or as drone. Because if she hasn't, if she hasn't, I mentioned it in the last video, if she, she hasn't mated, she will still lay. But she will lay drones. Um, which is basically the end of the colony because they won't obviously produce workers and the drones don't fly out and gather resources so the, it's the end of the colony so but if that's the case then I can deal with it I will just find the queen remove the queen see if I got some spare queens which I've got a few queens floating around from when I've removed sows I don't always destroy them all I sometimes keep them and I'll take them back to my incubator or put them in a in a mini, uh, mini mating nuke or something like that to keep them because they do come in handy as you can see this year um, the only difference is it's not queens that I bred to get um, but if that's the case I can remove her for for a couple of days and then uh, put a new queen in there and they will take to her and away we go now they're in there they're not really doing a lot Right, so what we'll do now is we'll go round to hive number two and see if we can find eggs in that one. Right then, this is hive number two at the Orchard Apiary again. Just like the one we've just done, it's um, we left a cat queen cell in here back over a month ago, about five weeks ago, I think it is now. We were here last week and uh, there was no eggs, so we'll get to see what we got this time. Now I put, don't think we need this second super on here to be fair. Uh, they're drawing each end out, which is a bit weird. Um, well, I'll take them off and get into the brood, see what we got, what we want. Ooh, there's some weight in there, actually. Blimey. Oh, and there's a lot more bees in here than there is in the first one. Hell of a lot more bees. So, let's see. Let's just hope we haven't got a bunch of grumpy bees. This, their temperament seems a lot better. I'd almost want to say, without even finding any eggs, that these have uh, got a queen because they are very, compared to the next door, to hive one, these are very... <laughs> I've had none of them fly up at me. I may be talking too soon, perhaps. But they're in a better mood. Time will tell. It's meant to get up to 25 today, apparently. So I'm doing this, like I've said before, in the morning, before it gets too hot. So there's a little chill in the air, which is a bit strange. Considering, it, I think when I looked when I left this morning, it was 10 degrees, and they reckon it's gonna get up to 25 today. So that's a big jump. And I don't fancy wearing this bee suit. and then heat. Yep, there's eggs in there as well. Wow, look at that. We're almost there then. All we need to do is um, make sure that they're not drone layers, as I've mentioned in the last one. 
I'll just quickly go through the rest. close them up all right well that's happy days in a way isn't it like i said we've got two laying queens now um time will tell whether they're drone layers whether they've actually mated or even mated well they may not have uh, may have mated but not very well because of the weather it's been horrendous so time will tell but either way we've got a laying queen at the moment Have a quick look in the uh, in the super. There's some weight to it. That top one. Oh, I don't think there was anything in there. Oh, blimey! Come on, girls, out of the way. Yes, very good. Right, so yeah, they've uh, they've been busy girls, busy, 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 busy girls. So I think this is virtually the only hive that's been producing some of its cap there so quite possibly you might have a cut a jar or two you can see there where they're licking the um, honey up that I've opened the cell when I've gone in they seem to forget everything and just run for the open honey oh yes that's lovely that's a nice heavy frame some capped and uncapped honey in there. So all is not lost. We'll see what the other the others I got on this site, but this one seems to be the only one that's managed to find something. Oh, that's heavy. That's a heavy frame. Right. As much as I love doing that, I haven't got time to, to mess around. I've got to get busy, busy day. Right, so, good news. I will leave this other super on then because uh, I might start using it. The way they're filling this one up. Hmm. Right, two laying queens, a super two-thirds full, half capped off, or start to cap it, so perhaps I will get some spring honey, oh. As I've said earlier, thank you for subscribing. Um, looking at the stats, 80% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed, so double check, see if you are. You might think you are and you're not. It'd be very much appreciated if you do. But great, thank you very much. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.